Hi everyone, this is Neha. Hope you guys are doing well. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, to live a life full of purpose. So let's get started. So how to live a life full of purpose. When one lives that life, they are naturally happy. They have their DNA activated and they naturally glow because they're doing it from within, from the bottom of their heart. They're not being forced to do what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And that, my friend, is the secret to looking and feeling young. Um, so let's get started on a few tips that I have. So first things first, we need to follow our intuition. Now many of us, because we are not aligned, we're aligned, but we're not aligned with our higher selves, mind, body, and soul. We're not living that life full of intuition. We're basically looking for confirmation and validation on our external world to tell us, okay, you're doing a good job of being a doctor, being a lawyer, being a manager, director, etc. These are all for, uh, forms of external validation that we've been conditioned to want and desire, not recognizing that our happiness is actually within us. If you're looking for, because your parents told you to be that, or your spouse said, oh, you should do that, then you're not living a life full of purpose. And that's why no matter what, we see this in our external world anyways, right? There are people who have made it at the top and no matter what they buy, they still look unhappy. It's because they're not living a life full of purpose. The second thing is they're self-motivated. They don't need to be pushed. And they are happy doing what they do. Um, they don't need to be told what to do. Uh, they will. And they're confident of their knowledge and skill sets. So this is another thing, right? Like if you are... And I've talked about this in previous videos, um, knowledge and wisdom over ignorance, right? And also wisdom is different than knowledge. You can have all of these um, certifications, these degrees, but that does not necessarily mean you have wisdom, right? Knowledge is just gained from books. Wisdom is gained from experience and analytical skills. This is where I differentiate even within the corporate world of who is actually wise enough to understand what they're doing versus not. You can get the alphabet soup next to your name, but if you don't know how to apply those skills that you learned in that degree or in that certification, that means nothing to me, right? And so definitely being confident of your skill sets and being self-motivated, that will help you live that life full of purpose. And that's just in terms of career. You can also be self-motivated in terms of a personal life. Like you're, you know, wanting to be with those friends or that family. You know, some of us are tied by karmic relationships or just other things in general that we're not where we need to be. This is the whole, I'm going to go into the spiritual aspect where we're spiritual beings having a human experience. And we got to take that step back and realize that, we are just not where we need to be. And it's okay. We, we don't need to follow these rules that our religion tells us or our family tells us. And I'm, I'm not to say like break all the rules. We're love and light at the end of the day, but speak your truth. And when you don't, something is wrong and others around you are not happy as well. All right. The other thing especially if this goes back to the career. You would continue to do the same type of thing every day if money was not a problem. Now, I'll give an example for me. When I was doing project uh, programming and I wanted to switch into project management, and I did, and one of the first feedbacks that I had received was, well, you don't make that much money. See, forget that. Um, there is an abundance of resources out there. If you're living a life full of purpose and passion, that opportunity will come to you and you will get what you desire. It's because you're living a life full of purpose. And so you got to think of it as something as you will make enough money that you need to live a fulfilling life doing what you want to do. 
Not like, oh, I'm just going to do programmer because I, they make more money than project managers. See, those are things that limit us from living, uh, living our higher selves. Um, the other thing is we tune out the outside world. So this is definitely me in the workplace. When I'm focused on my work, I can, I lose track of time. You know, I used to put on, when I used to go to the office, I had my headphones on and I'd zone out. I'd forget the outside world and I'd get my work done. And, you know, obviously in many um, organizations, they say you were the best. And not that I'm trying to say, you know, put myself on this ego thing, because I was the best at that point in time in those roles and positions because I focused and I gave it my all and I loved what I did. Do what you love every day and watch how miracles will automatically come towards you. Um, the other thing is do it without expectation. This is difficult because it goes back to one of the first things, right? When you're not listening to your intuition, you're doing, you're in a position um, or a role because your parents told you, on, I can speak as an Indian American, the couple um, career choices that my parents had, you know, obviously, because they had that mindset, they came from India, you should be doc doctor, lawyer, or engineer. Those are the only ones. And so I was of that mindset, if I became that programmer, my dad would be happy. And I did do it. But then I also realized at the end of the day, I can't do it for the rest of my life. And I moved into what I wanted to do. And hey, happiness is an inside job, right? In order to get to your purpose and find it because of the many layers we have and um, all of this programs so that we've received from the external world, we have to undo a lot of things. So basically that means unlearn things and relearn things. How you can do that. Go back into your, your life. Think of what you wanted to do as a kid, what somebody said you shouldn't do. Um, but you had a passion for maybe it's doing artwork, maybe it's drawing, but somebody said, oh, you're not going to make a lot of money um, dancing, any of this. Go back to your childhood and figure out what your passion was. Look at your interests, your hobbies that you put aside because somebody said you're not going to be good at it. Take some time reflecting on those. Find your Zen space and focus on Things that you have seen, and you'll see signs. I'm a big fan of angel numbers. If you're just and you're not aware, let me know. I can share that with you. They will pop up when you're on the right path and um, let you know that you are on um, your way to find your soul purpose and passion. And um, your synchronicities can be in the form of music or things you you find, maybe a book fell in a bookstore, or you bumped into somebody and you were thinking of them. These are all signs that you're getting from the universe that you're on the right path. But that means you need to pay attention to these. Like, we're all connected and everything happens for a reason, which is one of my favorite affirmations. In a life full of purpose, you're basically at peace with your life. And you stop looking at others and you stop comparing your journey of life with others because you know everybody else is living their purposeful life. And that is the biggest thing that I've gotten, especially in my, my spiritual awakening and journey the last couple of years is we can't judge anybody because everybody is trying to figure themselves out from a career perspective or a personal perspective, um, not aware, not aligned in their purpose. And so we... In a world where you can be so much more, let's just be kind, help each other. Uh, so much is going to be exposed. We all need to heal from things that we've hidden from ourselves, from each other subconsciously. And so be kind and um, enjoy this ride while you try to figure out your, um, your purpose. On that note, if you like my video, please like it. If you have any comments, um, please let me know and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a great one. Bye.